can you say worst vlogger award ever? <laughs> I just got out of the shower. Let me turn my fan on. Um, I'll turn it on low so that, well, if I plugged it up, that would probably work better, don't you think? <laughs> um, yeah, I just got out of the shower. I did. I chose not to wash my hair because it just I didn't need it, and it's really dry. I mean, my skin and everything is really dry right now, but I'm going to put my ears on just to push the frizzies back out of my face. I have pulled out a lot of makeup here. Um, I'm just going to be doing a video where um, I'm going to really work with uh, a holiday look that's the traditional golden eye look and red lip. Um, but I got to get my face makeup on, you know, I got to get my face done and everything um, before I film. So I thought I would just talk to you guys. It's been quite a few days since I've done any vlogging. I mean, quite a few days. <laughs> um, what I have out, I have my Laura Mercier highlight. Um, it looks like this. It's just a little dome or whatever. I'm going to set my whole face with that. I want everything to be super, super glowy. Um, I am going to add, this is from BoxyCharm. It's a liquid glow drop or whatever. It's beautiful. It just says shake well, apply by hand. I'm going to add this into my foundation. I want to use my Born This Way foundation. So let me grab that so that I know I have it out. Let's see here. Okay, born this way and nude. And then um, this doesn't have a color on it, but I mean, you know, it's it's just a golden, rose gold almost look from the outside of the bottle. I'm going to use that. Today, I am going to properly contour my face and I'm going to use, this was last year's um, Tarte blush palette. Um, I'm going to use one of those blushes. For my bronzer, I'm going to use the Too Faced Sweet Tea. I love it, and it's nice and um, glowy also. And I pulled out my Laura Geller uh, Gilded Honey for my highlight instead of Champagne Pop. I pulled out several different things for my eyes. First of all, I pulled out my Modern Renaissance palette. And I also pulled out the Becca Afterglow. Let me open it so you can see what it looks like. It looks like this or whatever. I'm gonna be using that. And I pulled out for my base, this is a color tattoo um, from Maybelline and um, Bad to the Bronze. I don't know if it's dried out or not, but we're gonna test and see. I also have in L'Oreal, I have Eternal Sunshine, which is a um, really gorgeous gold, um, it comes with this little thing that keeps it packed in there, but it's a really go gorgeous gold um, color. So, um, yeah, I'm going to possibly use that. And I pulled out two glitters, and I need to find, I've got, here it is, my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So, I'm going to use that to, um, I'm going to, I'm going to prime my eyes with this, but then for, um, the glitter, I'm going to use this on top of whatever my base shadow becomes. Now I pulled out, I have these two little ones. Um, this one's from Makeup Forever. It's a little bitty guy. It's called um, Diamond Powder. There's no way I can really show this to you guys properly, I don't think. But it's it's got a little bit of a rosiness to it. But, I mean, it's definitely gold. But it's got a, a, hint, of gold, gold, a hint of rose to it. This one is from Too Faced. It was like in a little package. And um, I don't know if you can see that without me spilling it. This one's got much more pink in it than the Makeup Forever. So I'm gonna have to kind of experiment with those. I rarely do glitter on my eyes, but um, I thought we would talk while I was color correcting and getting you know the majority of my face down because I'm, I'm a bad vlogger, guys. I mean, the honest truth is that I've gone through a short period of, um, I'm just getting my wet and wild color corrector out so I can sort of finish it up. I'm trying to make sure that I use it completely up, even though it's very inexpensive. I don't like to waste things, so I'm gonna, um, you know, try to use as much of this as I can get out of it. I'm gonna use it until it's totally gone. Um, but yeah, I just, um, I went through a period where I was just really 
blue. Um, not totally depressed, but just blue. And um, a lot of that is financial stuff that's going on that I'm trying to get a handle on. It's Christmas time here, you know, and um, yeah. So I'm trying to get a handle on my finances and do Christmas. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I've made some bad decisions financially in the past, of course, you know, and trying to come back from some decisions is very difficult. So, yeah, I, um, I've been kind of hiding, I guess you could say, to a degree. Um, but I haven't really done much other than I've been crafting, planning, um, and watching Netflix. Really haven't been doing much else. And it's not really anything that I felt like was worthy of vlog material. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's still a little bit left in here. I'm just going to keep going with this guy until he's totally gone. I don't see why I shouldn't. So, yeah, there's that. And then I'm just going to go in with this one. I don't wear makeup very, very often. I mean, I really don't. Not enough to use things up very quickly. So, I'm just going to kind of dot on, you know, the worst places where I've had some spots and um, I've had a spot right there on my nose, but they're slowly, um, my face, as I said, you know, it's continued to get better and better. It's nice and smooth now. And I've been making sure to exfoliate and all of those good things. So um, I'm just going to use my damp beauty blender and try to blend out that green just a little bit so it's not quite so harsh. Um, anytime you have a spot you're trying to camouflage, you don't want to use your concealer because if your concealer is like it's supposed to be, it's a shade lighter than your skin. So really, if you're trying to use concealer on a bump or a zit or just a spot of any kind that's red, you're highlighting it, not camouflaging it. So you need to try to neutralize the color of it and green neutralizes red. So if it's inflamed, that's the best way to go. So you can still see my redness, but it's toned down a good bit. Hopefully, you know, um, the Too Faced Born This Way is a really good um, foundation as far as being um, full coverage. Let me get this cloth. I'm going to wipe my, my dish off. I didn't wash it, so I need to wipe it off. But yeah, I've not really been doing much of anything, and I mean... <laughs> I just feel like my vlogs are really boring, and when you have a really boring vlog, you know, I'm shaking this, <laughs> um, you don't want to upload it. I mean, you know, I was uploading, it's getting low, it's spitting at me. Let me see if I can get some more. There it comes. Okay, I actually got more than I probably need out. But I think it'll be okay. And I'm sorry for all of the loud noises that I'm making here. But, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so this is, I mean, I got a lot out. But I got, I got that. And then I'm just going to go in and shake this really, really well. And I'm going to put a few drops in there. So I'm probably going to, since I got so much out, I'm probably going to put like three or four drops in there. Let's see. Yeah, it's got a really easy spout. Let's see. Woo! I think that was more. <laughs> this. It's not, um... Yeah, it's not what I was expecting. Okay, let me find just a brush that I can use to stir it up. Because um, I don't know if you can see it, but I just kind of stuck it right there in the middle. Can you see that? So, I'm just going to take the end of this, and I'm just going to stir it real good. So, that when I go in with my Beauty Blender, I don't pick up just glow. I want to, you know, and also it helps to spread it out over the dish, and that way I don't pick up too much at a time. Um, but, yeah, I just... Um, I don't want to upload stuff that's boring, and me sitting around the house is boring. Um, I'm not going to video watching um, Netflix and such. I did finish Scandal, which was great, and I think I've already mentioned that. Um, you know, I, I've just been watching YouTube and other things. I'm just kind of going to go in and start working on my center of my face here. I hope that it's going to turn out to be nice and glowy. That has a little bit more of a rose gold tint. I think you can see the light reflecting off just how it's giving it a really nice glow. I didn't put too much after all, but I, I put a lot of, um, I 
put a lot of makeup out. <laughs> it's like, it didn't want to squirt out at first, and when I tipped the bottle, all of a sudden, I got this big, huge squirt, so it, it kind of gave me more than I really needed. So, when I stirred it up and spread it out, you can see where I went in with my beauty blender, so, yeah. Um, so, anyway, um, I hope you guys are good. I hope that you're ready for Christmas. I'm not. <laughs> I, um, I still have some shopping to do. Um, there are some gifts under the tree, but um, I have some shopping to do. <laughs> my bulk of my shopping still needs to be done, the, the main items, and I'm going to have to do that online when I get paid. Um, I have to spread things out over more than one month, <laughs> and, um, you know, it just it is what it is. I mean, that's what happens, when, you know, when you're chronically ill and you end up on disability, you don't have a huge budget to work with. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, I'm going a little bit higher on my under eye than I normally do. Tonight is date night. <laughs> so, um, this makeup has also got to last. But, I mean, it's like, it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon already. So, um, and I, yeah, I'm just not getting going. But, you know what? That's okay. Um, I want my makeup to be fresh, of course, for this because this is the first time for me to meet this guy so we're going to see how that goes um but yeah i am um i'm trying to make sure it's thin and then go back over it i'll go down my neck in just a bit but i am going up a little bit higher for extra coverage under my eye area there and the Beauty Blender is just, it's a beautiful tool. Any sponge, in my opinion, is a beautiful tool for applying a really natural looking finish with a full coverage um, makeup. I use my brush when I use like my It Cosmetics uh, CC Illuminated or Illumination Cream or whatever. But um, let me see, turn my mirror where it's close up so I can really see here. I wanna make sure that I get that green well covered. I think I am. I'm gonna go back in with just a touch right there on that apple of my cheek. You can see the glow in it. It looks really good in person. It's really pretty. I like the way it's the finish that it's giving with those drops of illumination in there. Um, I've had that for a really long time and I've only used it one other time and I, did, I don't really remember what it looked like other than, you know, it just, it's the typical, you know, drops that you would put in um, for extra glow. And I do want to be extra glowy because when I get to my eyes, I'm going to film that as a video for December Daily, just a, a Christmas makeup look. And um, yeah, so now I'm ready to go down my, I'm going to go behind my ear just a little bit and down here. Goodness. I've got my hair to do. Um, if you haven't seen my weight loss, um, I, that was glowing on you, wasn't it? See how what a pretty soft glow it gives the skin. It's very healthy looking. And I'm going to set it with something that has a little bit of glow to it. I mean, it's a natural glow, but I think that it'll be pretty. Um, but yeah, I just, um, I want to film that because I want to do something, you know, I, I'm trying to catch up. I'm so behind on all my filming. Um, having a hard time getting motivated. I mean, a real hard time getting motivated. So I'm hoping that um, I can get this uploaded before I leave tonight, and then, um, yeah, and I hope tonight goes well. <laughs> this makes my eyelids look so red, doesn't it? When I'm covered well, and I, t you know, kind of cover the majority of my redness, it makes my eyelids look like I've been crying or something. Now, I did wear a red um, shadow yesterday, I think it was, and so that, it, they may be stained. I don't know, but I think that that's just sort of my natural color. But they're coming across a lot more pink and red on the screen than they are in person, <laughs> if that helps. But yeah, what I was going to say is um, I posted a before and after picture of my weight loss 
on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on my Instagram and you're curious as to how I started out with my weight loss journey and, um, cause you know, I documented a lot of that on this channel. So if you want to see how I look now in comparison, there is a picture on my Instagram. It's K Gilchrist 22. It's K G I L C H R I S T 22. Feel free. I'll just put that on the screen. Um, feel free to go and follow me there and, um, you know, uh, see what my efforts have produced. I'm not going to use the rest of this. I am really very proud of myself, I have to say. Um, I'm going to just put that right there on top of that computer so that it won't get in my way. I don't want to set anything in the makeup. Okay, this is looking really good. I'm very pleased with this. So, the next step will be to um, do my eyes and then conceal and do all those kinds of things. So I'm going to go and I'm going to finish that up and film it. And um, yeah, I will. Uh, okay, I'll be guys, right back. I just finished filming this look. I haven't done my hair yet and closed out the video with the final look. But you can see how nice and glowy my skin looks. I have the bright red lip, I have the glittery gold eye. Uh, it, it's very nice and smoky, perfect for an evening Christmas party. I really like it. It's a lot for a date, <laughs> but um, yeah, I then got it on my teeth. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm about to, um, I'm gonna go wash my hands first, and then I need to brush out my hair and kind of pull it up so that I can work on starting to color it. And I'm probably gonna need to use just a touch of Batiste in it, um, probably just at the crown or whatever, but that'll give it some lift too. So let me go do that and I'll be right back. My hair brushed out. I've got some Batiste in it. Now I'm about to take up the top layer, separate it from the bottom, put it in a clip so I can start hot rolling it with my curling iron like I normally do. I took a really long time on my makeup, but um, I was wanting to do a good job and it turned out really pretty. It's very dramatic, but um, I really do like it and I love the sparkle and the gold that you can see. Um, the gold in the waterline turned out really, really well. Okay, so I've got um, what I'm wearing in the dryer on touch up because it had a little bit of wrinkle in it and don't feel like getting the iron out and doing all that kind of stuff for just a couple of wrinkles um, when it'll knock that out really easily. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of uh, go through. It already has some hairspray in it from um, the last time I fixed it. And um, my hair is just like coming out. I don't know if you guys can see all that, but I mean, it's just it's coming out so bad still. I just don't know what to think about it. I mean, I really don't. It's awful. Um, it's not getting any better, let me put it that way. And I'm really gentle with it, you know? So, I just don't know what I'm gonna do. And um, I'm gonna try to, you know, reach as close to the, um, let me move this stuff over here. I'm gonna try to reach as close to the roots on this as I can when I first start putting it um, in the hair because um, it's kind of cramped because I had it in a ponytail overnight last night. So yeah, I'm just trying to get the cramp out, you know, that sort of thing. And I don't have to hold it very long and I don't wanna hold it very long either just because, say I'm getting it as close as I can so that I can straighten out that cramp. And then um, I'm gonna kinda of see what I'm doing in my bigger mirror. Um, yeah, I really do apologize for not having vlogs the last few days. I'll put vlogs, days, whatever, through whatever, but really it's just this one day that I've been vlogging um, while I'm getting ready and talking to you guys and that sort of thing. I've just gotten behind. I did really well early on, but a lot of that was because I had already pre-recorded so many videos and uploaded, and it's taking about three hours to upload a video right now with high-speed internet. It's because everybody's, you know, so busy on there, and 
it's just taking a really long time. And um, yeah, it's, it's hard to get things uploaded. And then if I don't have something that I really think is worthy to upload, then I don't upload it, you know? And um, that's just sort of been the case. I've not really been doing anything. Plus, when you're down and you're really not doing much of anything, you're just kind of being a bum, um, you know, the time that I spent with my son and my family um, recently, I didn't want to vlog during that time. Um, my brother's birthday was Sunday, and um, we had a large family time that evening, and it was really fun, but, I mean, you know, it's, um, it's just not something that... Um, you know, I, they don't want to be on camera and on my um, videos, and I don't blame them for that, you know, and I would never even ask. Um, you know, I just, I just wouldn't. So, um, let me see if I can, as close to the root as possible to pull that kink out from the elastic I've had in it, or the twisty tie, whatever you want to call it. The, um, elastic. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's just, um, there's not been a lot going on. I, I lead a pretty boring life, apparently. <laughs> At least I'm beginning to feel that way. Um, but the majority of it is just me not feeling well. And um, once I ran out of videos that were already preloaded and filmed and that sort of thing, I kind of fell behind. Um, and then the vlogging stopped as a result of that. So, um, yeah. So, I just, I do hate it. I'm sorry. You can give me an award for the worst YouTuber, uh, I guess. Um, but, you know, we all, we don't all have these great, wonderful lives that there's something going on every minute because I mean, I'm single and there's really just not that much going on every minute. It's just not that way for me. And, um, yeah, so there's no point in videoing nothingness. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's off my mind. I was afraid that it was on my lips again, but it's nice and dry now. So, and I will need to put on some, um, chapstick just because, um, as wonderful as Kat Von D, you know, Everlasting Liquid lipsticks are, they are very drying. So, I always try to put a little bit of chapstick on over it just to kind of balance that out. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Let me see which one I have here. I have, um, where's, here it is. I have the Burt's Bees Coconut Pear. That'll work. That'll work. I just put it sort of in the center and kind of dab it on. It gives just enough of a, just enough moisture or softness that, softness that keeps it from being crackly dry. <laughs> you do have to make sure your lips are exfoliated and well taken care of if you want to, you know, use these uh, Kat Von D liquid lipsticks on a regular basis because um, it is very drying, and, um, uh oh it got hooked. Um, yeah, you have to be careful. So, um, you know, I scrubbed my lips pretty good and that sort of thing before I brushed my teeth. And, um, the good thing about this lipstick too, this underage red color is that, um, it's a blue tint. Uh, it has a, you know, an, a blue undertone, which makes your teeth look much whiter than they really are. <laughs> I have a lot of, um, it's, it's time for a dental appointment, actually. Um, it's time for me to get my teeth cleaned. But, um, honestly, the truth of the matter is that, um, I drink so much tea. I mean, you know, I'm a southerner, y'all. <laughs> y'all. Um, I drink a lot of tea and coffee, so... You know, I have a lot of staining, but it, um, wearing a nice red, blue undertone red helps that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really hate to go and meet somebody for the first time with such heavy duty makeup, but you know, 
I'm just gonna tell him, look, I don't normally wear this much makeup, but I was filming a video. <laughs> I think he'll understand. Um, but uh, yeah, I, um, I do like to look a little more natural. I always wear a, a really pretty lip color. Um, sometimes I'm feeling a more neutral, nude, you know, kind of color. And sometimes I'm feeling bright colors. During the summer, especially, I love to wear bright colors. And around the holidays, a red lip just cannot be beat, in my opinion. So, yeah. So, that's the reason that I'm looking like I'm looking. I'm going to go now, and I am going to finish curling the rest of my hair. And I'm going to come back and talk to you after I have ended my um, video um, where I filmed this makeup look. So I'll be back in just a little bit, guys. Well, guys, I am finished. I think I'm gonna change my lip color because it doesn't really go with what I'm wearing and it's kind of bold. So I'm gonna tone it down just a little bit. One good way, if you uh, don't wanna really just scrub your lips and makeup off, put on some additional chapstick and it does help bring more of it off. And I do have, you know, a liner on underneath. But yeah, um, this color, it's got more of a, it's more of a pinky orange. So let's go with a different color. Let me see what I want to use here. I'm tempted to use this one. This one is called Mother. It is summery. I could use this one. Yeah, let's go with this one. This is called uh, Bell House, I think. Something like that. Let me see what it looks like out of the tube. I may wanna go, yeah, this one's bright. Let me go with this other one that's similar. It's, um, it's, uh, called Mother. Yeah, I, I think I want to go with Mother. It's, uh, it's a little bit more appropriate. I could go with, uh, Double Dare. Yeah, let's go with Double Dare. Okay. I really like all of her lipsticks. Let me see if I can get this drawer back in without making too much noise. Um, but yeah, I want to, um, do this, I think. Let me find my handheld mirror but yeah um i just don't want to go in you know with this much makeup on and that bright lip i don't want to scare somebody away i mean some guys don't mind makeup but some guys just really don't like makeup you know they don't like a whole lot and uh you know i don't want bright red lips that needs to be something that you work up to <laughs> Hopefully, just from rubbing my lips, more of the redness will come out of my lip line. But, yeah. It's just a pretty, it's a, it's a neutral, it's a mauve, but it's got some brown in it. But right now, it's coming across as more of a red on camera than it really is in person. But it goes with what I'm, the colors that I'm wearing just a little bit better. And I'm probably going to, let me grab somewhere I've got, here we go, I've got a Q-tip. I'm going to kind of lighten up this lash line just a little bit. I'm going to take some of this black off. so it's not quite so smoky. Um, and so that it doesn't run quite as bad. Yeah, and it helps to take some of that off. Now there's a shadow there, but it's not uh, so much product that it's going to, you know, that I have to risk it running. I'm just kind of taking it off the lash line. Kind of lightens the look up just a touch. You see more um, 
You see more of the gold and the mascara than you do a ton of black. And it did kind of cause some little flakes to fall down on my face, so I'm just fixing that. Otherwise, I think it looks pretty good. Not bad for a date night, I don't think. Not really sure what we're gonna do, but I'm sure it'll be, whoop, <laughs> brightness. But I'm sure it'll be fun regardless. No matter what it is, I'm sure it'll be fun. So yeah, um, let me, I'm gonna put this in my purse so that I have it with me. Let me put the red back. Um, yeah, so this is what I ended up doing for today. Um, I took my time and um, I really just, you know, worked on three different videos here all, all at once, basically. Um, but yeah, or two different videos, but they're in pieces, so I'm gonna have to figure out which pieces go with what. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I think it turned out pretty good. And this is a much better color with what I'm wearing than the bright red. It, it just, it was a little too much. Now let me put on some uh, more chapstick. just so I'm not totally dried out. Much better. And there you have it. Now I'll have to put my glasses on. Let me clean these. <laughs> but, um, so I've got this look going and I've got this uh, vlog video for today. Today is the 19th. Yeah, I've missed quite a few days, quite a few days. I have enough time left over though. I'm gonna go quickly, I'm just gonna put um, some clear coat on my nails to make them look a little shinier and then moisturize my hands really well so that I'll look nice. Um, get my jewelry on, my perfume, you know, those kinds of last minute things you do before you walk out the door. So yeah, that's gonna be it. So I hope you enjoyed what I, vlogging I did today. I'll probably mix this with some vlogs for tomorrow. We'll just see how much I can get uploaded um, tonight. It depends on how late I am getting home. So yeah, if I'm too late getting home, I'll just combine it with tomorrow. But I'm sorry that it's been so long and I've gotten away from the vlogging, but it is what it is, guys. And I know you guys understand. I'm always really um, honest and real with you about stuff. And so yeah, there's that. But so that's gonna be it. I think that it's a little bit more date appropriate now, even though I do have glitter. <laughs> I kind of like the glitter because it hits the light. So, you know, um, that's a good thing. And that's going to be it. Look how the, the different color is because I just took off red fingernail polish. So I've got to go back and clean my nails up just a little bit. But yeah, my skin is a different color than my face, no doubt. <laughs> it's because it's evened out. You know, I've noticed that my chest, I need to start taking a lot better care of my chest. The skin here is, you know, it's been burned, sunburned so many times throughout the years that... I'm surprised I don't have a lot of age spots there, but yeah, um, that's going to be it. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.